Yes, uh, just wanted to apologize to the those that are listening and our council members. We're having this is a new service that we're providing for uh, live streaming online. Uh, we might have some difficulties with the closed captioning, but um, they are working on it. So we just want to proceed with the meeting as set forward. So, uh, Mr. Clerk, uh, we'll start with the order of resolutions. Resolution 38-15. Resolution 38-15 accepts the dedication of Road Lot 33, Kamano Street, Stub Out Extension, Road Lot 34, Kaye Koili Street, Road Lot 35, Mayao Street, Road Lot 36, Kahola Street, Road Lot 37, Oluwalu Street, Road Lot 38, Kamano Street Widening, Task Map Key 73051, and 136 of the Colloquial Light Industrial Subdivision Phase 3, being also a portion of Royal Patent 8214, Land Commission Award 7715, Apana 11, to Lot A, Kamehameha, situate at Coloco, District of North Kona, Island of Hawaii, State of Hawaii, from TSA LLC. The street contained areas of 0 0.56, 0 0.852, 0 0.825, 0 0.823, 0 0.998, and 0.249 acre, respectively, introduced by Ms. Poindexter. Ms. Poindexter. Motion to approve Resolution 38-15. Second. It's been moved by Ms. Poindexter, seconded by Ms. Eoff. Any discussion? Hearing none, Mr. Clerk. On the motion to approve resolu Resolution 38-15, Mr. Chung. Aye. Ms. David. Aye. Ms. Eoff. Aye. Mr. Ilagan. Aye. Mr. Onishi. Aye. Mr. Paleka. Aye. Ms. Poindexter. Aye. Ms. Willie. Aye. Chair Kanuha? Aye. Chair Kanuha, have nine eyes. Motion is approved. Mr. Uh, Chair. Yes. Can we at this time make a motion to do voice vote, please, since they're all members are here? Suspend right. the rules? Yes, yeah. please. Second. Um, motion to suspend the rules so that we can do voice vote on Council Day. It's been moved by Mr. Onishi and seconded by Mr. Ilagan. Uh, any discussion? Oh, sorry, no discussion on a motion to suspend the rules. Uh, Mr. Clerk. Mr. Chung. Aye. Ms. David. Aye. Ms. Eoff. Aye. Mr. Ilagan. Aye. Mr. Onishi. Aye. Mr. Paleka. Aye. Ms. Poindexter. Aye. Ms. Willie. Aye. Chair Kanuha. Aye. Chair Kanuha, have nine ayes. Thank you. Motion passes. Okay, now on to resolution. 39-15. Resolution 39-15 transfers appropriates an appropriation out and from the designated fund account and credits same to a designated fund account to provide a grant to Basic Image Incorporated for the 2015 Honolulu Paka Aloha Honua Surfing Classic. Transfers appropriates $800 out and from the Clerk Council Services Contingency Relief Account, Council District 8, and credits the same to the Department of Parks and Recreation, Parks and Recreation Administration, other current expenses, miscellaneous contract services account, Basic Image Incorporated. 2015 Honolulu Paka Aloha Honua Surfing Classic. Funds will be used to pay for t shirts and other expenses. Introduced by Ms. Eoff. Ms. Eoff. Move to approve resolution 39 15. We have a second? Second. It's been moved by Ms. Eoff, second by Ms. David. Uh, Ms. Eoff, you have the floor. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, yes, I just wanted to lend my support to this surfing um, classic. Um, uh, in conjunction with Parks and Rec, because I, I really support surfing, especially for youth programs. And um, so thank you um, for the opportunity, and I ask for your support. Thank you, Ms. Eoff. Any other discussion? Hearing or seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? That's nine ayes. Motion passes. Uh, resolution 40-15. Resolution 40-15 transfers appropriates an appropriation out and from the designated fund account and credits the same to a designated fund account to provide a grant to Basic Image Incorporated for the 11th Annual Honolulu Paka Aloha Honua Surfing Classic. Transfers appropriates $500 out and from the Clerk Council Services Contingency Relief Account, Council District 1, and credits the same to the Department of Parks and Recreation, Parks and Recreation Administration, other current expenses, miscellaneous contract services account, Basic Image Incorporated Honolulu Paka Aloha Honua Surfing Classic. Funds will be used to pay for refreshments. Introduced by Ms. Poindexter. Ms. Poindexter. Motion to approve Resolution 40-15. Second. It's been moved by Ms. Poindexter, seconded by Ms. Eoff. Ms. Poindexter, you have the floor. Yeah, I'd just like to say, um, same as Ms. Eoff, you know, I support um, the keiki and the surfing, but also, uh, most importantly, the gathering of the families and the celebration for the beautification of um, Honolulu as well and how they cared for um, the land. So, thank you. Ms. Eoff? Oh, no, thank oh, you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Any other discussion? Hearing or seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? 
is nine eyes. Motion is approved. Uh, resolution 42-15, please. Resolution 42-15 transfers, appropriates, an appropriation out and from the designated fund account and credits same to a designated fund account for the 2015 Hawaii Island Women's Leadership Forum. Transfers, appropriates $2,000 out and from the Clerk Council Services Contingency Relief Account, Council District 8, and credits the same to the Office of the Prosecuting Attorney, Committee on Status of Women, Miscellaneous Contract Services Account, 2015 Hawaii Island Women's Leadership Forum. Funds will be used to pay for speaker fees and facility rent introduced by Ms. Eoff. Ms. Eoff. Move to approve resolution 40-42-15. We have a second. second. It's been moved by Ms. Eoff, seconded by Mr. Paleka. Uh, Ms. Eoff, you have the floor. Okay, thank you. Yes, um, I don't know if there was somebody from the prosecutor's office um, that wanted to comment on this, but um, if not, um, I'd just like to say that um, I ask for your support and I think this the status of uh, well, promoting women's participation in leadership forums is important to um, support, so thank you. Thank you, Ms. Yoff. Mr. Ilagan. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'm, I'm happy that Council Member Yoff is taking the lead on this one. I was going to ask other Council Members to also support them, not just regarding this rezo, but other contingency funds that they have in their um, Council uh, district. And I, I would like to support them, but I'm out of contingency funds, <laughs> so I am not able to do so. But if, um, if need be, I will definitely help you out if you could um, give some for them um, in my place, and then I'll try to take care of you next time if we have any contingency <laughs> funds. I'm just that's how much I want to support them, and. Um, I hope that you will support them in the future. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Lagan. Any other discussion? Hearing or seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? That's nine ayes. Motion is approved. Thank you. Resolution 43-15. Resolution 43-15 transfers appropriates an appropriation out and from the designated fund account and credits same to a designated fund account to provide a grant to Kalakehe Project Grad for Project Graduation 2015. Transfers appropriates $5,000 out and from the Clerk Council Services Contingency Relief Account, Council District 8, and credits the same to the Department of Liquor Control, Public Programs, Miscellaneous Contract Services Account, Kalakehe Project Grad. Funds will be used to pay for expenses associated with graduate Graduation Night Celebration to be held on June 3, 2015. Introduced by Ms. Eoff. Ms. Eoff. Move to approve Resolution 43-15. Second. It's been moved by Ms. Eoff, seconded by Ms. David. Ms. Eoff, you have the floor. Thank you. Yes, I'd just um, like to say that I've supported this um, project grad over the years, and my predecessor supported it also, and that it really benefits the um, students at Kelke to have a non-alcoholic safe um, place to party all night and um, so I've, I've taken part in this um, over the years and I just wanted to continue to support it so I ask for your support. Thank you. Thank you Ms. Eoff. Any other discussion? Hearing or seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? That's nine ayes. Motion is approved. Uh, Mr. Clerk, Resolution 44-15. Resolution 44-15 authorizes the Office of the Mayor to enter into an agreement with the Hawaii Tourism Authority, HTA, pursuant to Hawaii Revised Statute Section 46-7, for a grant to the Department of Parks and Recreation for its Little Fire Ant Control Program. Provides $50,000 from HTA to the Parks and Recreation Department to hire up to three staff members and to provide them with equipment and necessities such as bait. Introduced by Ms. Eoff. Ms. Eoff. Move to approve Resolution 44-15. Second. It's been moved by Ms. Eoff, seconded by Ms. David. Um, Ms. Eoff, you have the floor. Okay, thank you. Um, well, this is a, um, a grant, and it's um, thankful that we are doing all we can to control the little fire ant, since um, we don't want this to get any more out of control. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Onishi. Yeah, I can give you guys some brief history about this. Um, last year... Um, Hawaii Ant Lab applied for this grant with HTA, which they got. I think it was like either forty or sixty sixty thousand dollars with a matching with County of Hawaii, and so. 
this year what Parks and Rec did because you know as you folks know we did get like two hundred thousand from Department of Ag to help fight the little fire ants and also with the Hawaii Invasive Species Council we got another like hundred seventy five thousand and that was to help provide funding for three positions that we have going on right now and they've um, I guess um, um, they have, I guess, what is, um, acknowledged that there's like over 19 parks that are infested with fire ants, county parks, okay? And then there's also some county facilities, like for example, Andrew's Gym. They found fire ants in the gym, so there's at different facilities too. They just found out this county building has fire ants, little fire ants. And so that crew is going to be coming in to help um, eradicate that on these grounds here. So what Parks and Rec did is they went out and they went on their own to get from the HTA this grant. And so, you know, I really appreciate that Parks and Rec is, you know, moving forward and being aggressive in trying to get more funding. So upcoming budget, we need to help them and provide permanent funding because we're not going to get too much more help from the state. Okay, from like the state legislatures and also maybe, well, we might have help from the Department of Ag in getting a little bit more funding, but other than that, other than that we're going to have to fight with the other different agency or nonprofits that go and get the money from the Hawaii Invasive Species Council, right? And so with this, going to help keep on providing funding to for pesticides that they need equipment and I guess to continue the funding for the positions until we can make it permanent from the county side. So I'm asking for you guys' support. And like I said, I want to thank Parks and Rec, uh, Reed and Clayton for their hard work and being, you know, very aggressive in trying to get funding for us. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Onishi. Miss Willie? Yes, a um, uh, number of points. First, I just want to thank Councilmember Onishi. I know he's um, made trips over to Honolulu and worked um, really diligently on this and getting the funds for us. Um, I just want to, uh, you know, this this is probably the issue that I think I the first thing I actually worked on and came to the council before I was on the council um, was trying to get the county to do a lot more. That was back in 08, and it was all, this is a state issue, and we never did any of the things, even though it was nine members approving it. Um, the I'm glad to see all of this. I see it coming to the parks. Um, again, we are not getting funding sort of helping at how to address the landscapers and the farms, and um, uh, we have a lot more to do on that. Um, this. I'm glad to see we're going to have these people here. The state ag people that were have been assigned on this are more moving, taken from this island and the other neighbor islands focusing on Oahu. Um, and lastly, I just want to make a point about the HTA. You know, all of this money where it's being funneled through HTA, if this were direct to the counties, I mean, their, their size of the... TAT, what they get, we funnel it, they take about 25% off the top, um, and that if we had more of these TAT funds coming to the counties, we would avoid all of that and have more to deal with the fire ants. So um, again, I think this is great. I just want to throw in those uh, uh, and concerns, and hopefully we will be able to focus our efforts not just on the parks and have people come in here and see fire ant signs going Going down our center out here is um, upsetting. It's a major issue, and again, if we could deal, if there was a little more respect for the counties, we would have had this under control a lot more before now. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Willie. Mr. Ilagon. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I do want to thank um, Council Member um, Monishi's leadership and also with collaborating with HTA. This will definitely help with the tourists and have them a pleasant stay here and also the locals who's using the facilities. When I went over to the ledge opening um, this past couple of days we stopped by Department of Agriculture and I wanted, I thanked them for supporting Council Member Onishi on getting the money through but when I was around their facility, 
cities, they had fire ants. I think you might need to give them some of that money to control their fire ants, their council member Onishi. But you are uh, outstanding statesman, and I appreciate you getting money for us. Thank you, Mr. Ilagan. Uh, any other discussion? Hearing or seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? That's nine ayes. Motion is approved. Uh, Mr. Clerk, resolution 45-15. Resolution 45-15 transfers appropriates an appropriation out in from the designated fund account and credits same to designated fund account for the 2015 Hawaii Island Women's Leadership Forum. Transfers appropriates $2,500 out in from the Clerk Council Services Contingency Re Relief Account, Council District 6, and credits the same to the Office of the Prosecuting Attorney, Committee on Status of Women, Miscellaneous Contract Services Account, 2015 Hawaii Island Women's Leadership Forum. The funds will be used to pay for promotional and educational materials and supplies introduced by Ms. David. Ms. David? Motion to approve. Your uh, microphone. Sorry. Motion to approve resolution 45-15. Second. It's been moved by Ms. David and seconded by everybody. No, uh, Mr. <laughs> Lagan. <laughs> okay, Ms. David, you have the floor. Mahalo. Um, I want to mirror what Council Member Eoff has said about the importance of uh, this leader leadership forum. Um, that is coming up and also in um, I needed to mention that council member and EF and I attended the um, uh, service at the West Hawaii Veterans Cemetery on Wednesday where they honored five veterans of the Hawaii 100th 442nd RCT and they were awarded the French Legion of Honor and it was a great ceremony and I really have to do some bragging because the person that did the presentation was Pauline Carmona and she was the first French female consul general in the United States. And um, she, great, she gave a great speech. And, um, and also she's the first woman to take this office in San Francisco and the only woman currently serving the French consular network in the USA. So I really believe that we need to, to honor these women for their leadership and forums like this will, will definitely help them that and I appreciate your support. Mahalo. Thank you, Ms. David. Mr. Ilagan. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I also want to thank um, Council Member David for taking the lead on this one, too. And I just want to mention that if we ever were to see a world where the status of women has the equal pay as men do, it it would be a, a great world because I'm looking for a woman who makes more than I do. So in the future, I don't have to work as much as I have, as I do. And it's great for everybody, I must say. Um, but whoever you are out there, I'm looking for you. <laughs> I just want to thank um, the council members who are supporting these forums because uh, these forums bring that vision to reality. And as elected officials, it's our duty to take the steps to get closer to that goal. So thank you so much. And I hope the other council members will also support this forum and put money into council member Margaret Willey. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ilagan. Okay. <laughs> Any other discussion? Hearing or seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? That's nine ayes. Uh, motion is approved. Okay, Mr. Clerk. Uh